Hi everyone, we're here to show you, well actually we're doing this together because I don't even know if this is gonna work, but I just got the Epson, it's a ET EcoTank 2800 EcoTank from Staples. And I ordered Printer's Jack Sublimation Ink on, e uh, not eBay, uh, Amazon. You get four bottles, they're 100 mLs a piece, I'll show you. So it says to lay a, sub a piece of paper so you don't spill onto the table. You don't turn it on at all. You unbundle, unbundle the package. And then you want to start with opening your tank. And you have black, yellow, magenta, and cayenne. Or blue, pretty much. And this is they're supposed to be fitted. So this one says black. They're supposed to be fitted exactly for each position. I'm gonna grab some scissors. So we shall see. You're supposed to use one ink. You're not supposed to mix it um, because it could ruin the printer. And then just know that once you put in sublimation ink into the ones that are not sublimation, that it voids your warranty, so. But this is, we're doing this, it says that this sublimation ink can do anything from, from, let's see, on mugs, cups, plates, cloth, mouse pads, pillows, glass, metal flags, metal flags, shoes, hard objects must be coated with a sublimation coating. Um, and it says it works on the best, like best on high count polyester. Um, and pour on cotton-based materials. So we are starting with the black. So wish us luck. This is the black ink. Okay. So I guess that's the first bottle. And it has these gloves. Because it's, you know, and make sure that you don't. So this looks like it's like a twist. Yeah, twist cap. And then that's what the top looks like. It's supposed to be able to. So this is the black. You. You put it into the block and you pop that one back and it says that it's supposed to you don't force it it says that it just fits right in like this and you just and then you could hear it you could hear it filling and it says that you could also see it as it fills which i can And that actually was pretty easy. Hold on, we'll just, I'm gonna start opening the other packages. So that was actually, honestly, like pretty easy, like the syringes and all that stuff and the, and this, you know, that what seemed overwhelming for me. So this is actually good so far. Okay, and it says that you're, you'll stop. It looks like it's full. And so you just remove it. Watch out, Faith. You just remove it. And then you recap it. And twist this on. And set that to the side and close this and move on to the next. That was actually, honestly, very, very easy. So the next color I'm going to do is the yellow. It, this one also just twists off. So you want to make sure, and that's when that one looks like. You want to make sure that you match your yellow to your yellow. Flip the yellow back. And then it just says basically lock into place. And it goes to town. And the reason why I really wanted to purchase the sublimation ink is because I've been watching a lot of videos and research and a lot of the ink is, you know, it's pretty much 100% in 
infused into the shirt and it could, you know, it's more sustainable and it doesn't look crack. Okay, and it's no longer going, so you just pull this off and then cap. This one had very good reviews and then you close. Um, but uh, there was a, actually quite a few that had good reviews, but I just like it liked that it was a, a Amazon package. I mean, Amazon review. And then this one is the magenta. So we'll open the magenta, twist this off. Let's look at the cap. That's what the cap looks like. Then we'll go ahead and connect. And it's filling. And it says that if you're new to this, I read all the instructions. It's double paged. Um, it said to, they practice or they recommend practicing on scrap polyester, which I did actually find four yards at Walmart for two bucks. It was already pre-cut, so you didn't have to like page anybody and wait forever and a day for no one to show up. And that may not be true for all the areas, but in my area, yes, it's very true. True story. This one is the cayenne, which it's blue. Okay, this one stopped. So you disconnect, put the lid on it, and set it to the side. So honestly, I mean, I don't see how this is such a, it, it's not messy. So far, so good. Um, this is the cayenne, like I said, blue. It should just be called blue. Why do we gotta make it complicated? Cyan? Cayenne pepper. Cyan. <laughs> That's my nine-year-old correcting me. And then this is the... Cyan? Cyan. <laughs> and it just connects. And it says once you use the material, I mean, the, the so you want to stick with the same ink. You don't want to interchange them. Because it could cause clogging issues. And then it, you have to have special uh, paper, which I did a lot of research on as well. Excuse my face. And this is the one I'm getting. Because I don't have all the fancy yet equipment. But this is the one that has really good reviews. And I got it on Amazon as well. this one stopped see that to me seemed a lot easier than the syringe so that was like a big huge thing for me so then you close all make sure all of these are closed close this and it says basically you want to download that it comes and faith will you give me that hold on give you this okay <laughs> yeah No, not those. That's what the ink comes with, but you don't want to use these. You could probably just keep them or sell them or give them away. Um, the disc. The disc, yeah. Um, this is the disc. Like, you could download the disc if you're going to use a laptop, um, or you could do it through your phone on website. But basically, you want to set up your devices so you can print directly from your devices to the printer. And you have to set this up, and it should prompt us. So I'm kind of excited and scared at the same time because I don't know if it's going to work. It said that all Epson Eco Tanks should work for the conversion. And it also says once it prints, you have to heat press. It doesn't matter what heat press you use. It's 400 degrees plus for about 40 to 45 seconds. And you want a barrier between whatever you're pressing to the back and then towards to cover your, your press as well. So it says now, basically, we just power on. Okay, let's go ahead and look at this. Power on. And then you follow the steps. Uh, we'll pick English. 
so that will put okay. Finish setup using Epson Smart Panel. We'll put okay. Um, scan to install app. Okay, so we're gonna have to pause this and we'll pick it up.